Uh, joining us on set to talk mobility and the future of how we get around Clotilde Elbos. Bonjour. Thank you very much for being with us. You're Chief Bonjour. Executive Officer of Mobilize. So more and more car manufacturers uh, tend to present themselves as mobility service providers. Uh, what does it mean concretely? Well, actually, we don't consider ourselves as just mobility service provider. We consider that we are providing the operators whatever stack they need in order to be able to provide these services. Our new business model is to be vehicle as a service. That means that we don't want to sell car. And I think for a car manufacturer, it's quite revolutionary, right? We want to keep the car, but we want to provide all the services that go with, with, with the car, together with the car, uh, from the service, to the tech platform, and then to a car, which may be adapted to the exact needs of the mobility operators. Sounds good. Last year, Renault launched Mobilized. Uh, it provides service around uh, electric mobility. Uh, Vivatech was Mobilized's first showing. Uh, it uh, operates a car service called Ziti yep. in three European countries. It also proposes home-based charging solutions as well as uh, a charge pass, which gives access to 260,000 charging stations all over Europe. Uh, what is your vision around all those services? Well, I think clearly what people now want is not necessarily own the car. What they want is a travel from a point A to a point B, and this travel has to be greener, more accessible, more affordable, and shared. So that exactly why we have designed Mobilize is to answer those needs. How to give access to people to electric mobility. Everybody knows that it's a little more expensive than the uh, uh, previous mobility. They don't necessarily want to own the car, so we do really see a development of this type of mobility in the yeah. future. Who wants to own a car now, huh? The well, some people <laughs> still do, hopefully, but uh, some other don't. The Mobilize Smart Charge uh, app enables users to automatically charge their uh, vehicle when there's excess electricity in the grid, or like for instance, late at night. Uh, what's the benefit for drivers and uh, for the environment? Well, it's very clear. That means that uh, when you're, uh, uh, you're in your house, first, you know when to charge. You don't need to bother. You just say to your app, I want to have 80% charging by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. So you don't bother about that. It's the app doing it. And by using the electricity at the time you have less needs, you pay less. So the nest, it's very good for the, for the drivers, for the users, because they pay less on their electricity bill. We had made calculation that they can gather back a few hundred euro per year. It's not zero, it's quite important. And obviously for the planet is good because instead of charging at the same time as everyone, where then the grid needs to go get some less greener electricity, let's put it that way, you charge when the, the electricity is the greenest, i.e. when people need the less. So it's good for the planet and it's good for the wallet. Would you say Mobilize is, um, is like a startup at the, inside Renault? Yeah, it is because uh, and at the same time, we do benefit from the big runner group, right? But it's a startup because the mindset is different. Instead of thinking product, you think service. You have the ability to try and fail. Our wish is to scale fast and become big very fast. And we actually, we already have six startups or scale-ups within the uh, Mobilize ecosystem be it for dispatch management system, charging solutions, um, car sharing. We do have those uh, startups. It's already 500 people. It's also for a car subscription. 500 people, among them, 80% is software engineer. So clearly, it is a startup. Um, this place here, Vivatech, it's a place of innovation, of course. It's also a place of uh, ideas, uh, a place of sharing as well. Uh, what is Mobilize hoping to find here at Vivatech, and uh, have you met any interesting prospects? Well, I just arrived. I'm going to be there <laughs> later today and the next days, but uh, indeed, we, we work in ecosystem. We benefit from the Renault Group ecosystem, we benefit from our startups, we benefit from partners in other mobility area. We think that if we only think in silo, it's not going to work, so we need partners. Other mobility players, tech players for the tech stacks that we need in our digital platform. So here is a very, very good place to meet these people and open our ears about what is happening in the mobility world. What precisely will you be looking for here in the next few days? Any specific um, sector ideas? Well, anything which is a revolutionary, just like the revolution, <laughs> in, in, in a stack that we need for the mobility sector. And it's wide. It can be energy, it can be data, 
it can be financing, it can be insurance, it's pretty wide, so that's why the ears are quite open. How do you show yourself, I mean not yourself obviously, but mobilize in five to 10 years? What are the next big steps? Well, for us, we have, you know, we have big ambition. We want, to asking, yes. we want to represent 20% of Renault Group. 20% of Renault Group to Nova for Mobilize as a whole, including the finance captive. So what we want to be in 10 years, we want to be the forefront of Renault in the tech world. Renault used to be an automotive company using tech. We want to be a tech company using some type of automotives. And, and Mobilize is, should be the forefront of that. I'm sure you know regulation is changing in Europe. It's evolving quite rapidly. How good is this for you and how does it affect you and your business? Well, I think regulation is moving very fast for car manufacturing, not always Definitely, easy yes. to follow. But it's pushing towards electric cars, which is the story of Mobilize. All our cars are going to be electric, so greener. We are also based on cars which are made out of recycled material. Duo, one of our cars, is going to be more than 50% made out of recycled material, recyclable at 95%. So all this regulation is actually pushing towards the direction that we want to take. So for Mobilize, it's good. For the global auto industry, it's sometimes tough to follow, but it's, it's also good for the planet. So. You're ahead of the times. Thank you so much, Clotilde. Thank you very much You're welcome. Uh, for being with us today. Thank you. Time now for Inside Vivatech.